Have you ever wondered how to build a customer success team? Having a dedicated team that will help you stay focused on what you do best while your customers are cared for can help boost customer satisfaction and loyalty as well as increase repeat sales exponentially. But first, you must build the team. Before you start, you need to know what you want. Understand what type of people you want to be on your team. While skill does matter, so does personality. Know what type of people you work best with. It might not seem like a big deal, but micromanagers don't work well with a lot of people, so you need to be able to access people who don't cross certain boundaries. Make sure of what you've got and access what you have. You may already have people that you can identify who may want to be on your team, or who are already on your team in a different role. When you know what you already have for resources, you can do better filling the gaps. For example, maybe you have a lot of comments on social media but no time to deal with them. Evaluate your capabilities and know what skills you need on your team. Take a look at what you have, what you want and what you need. Make a list of the skills that you need on your team so that you can fill it out with diversity. Having a range of people to go to that have different skills automatically increases the value of your business. Define and name each role. A good way to start is to define and name each role, for example, customer support, customer education and training, and customer engagement. These are three clearly defined roles that you may want to fill eventually. It's important that you list responsibilities. When you define each role, you want to create a list of responsibilities for each one. You want everyone to work on their speciality and not on things they aren't good at or skilled at or don't like doing. You also need to set up appropriate tools. Your team will need tools to use in order to serve your audience. Let them know the boundaries and the goals and give them the tools to do what you want them to do, such as create and run project management systems or a customer relationship management system so they can succeed. Provide expectations. When you have the responsibilities defined, the tools available and everything else you and your team needs, the final piece of the puzzle is to tell each team member what you expect from them. That way they can focus on the end game and not just the process. For example, if your goal is customer retention, give your team permission to do what it takes to retain people. When you build a customer success team, you'll improve customer retention and morale throughout your whole business, which in turn will increase your overall profits. But best of all, think of the positive feedback you will get from your customers when they praise your input online when it comes to customer satisfaction. Absolutely priceless.